high haunts. There are countless tales of structurally displaced spirits walking inches above floors lowered in a remodel a century before, passing unhindered through solid doors newly hung, stopping to weep at doors long demolished. There is a tale of soldiers visible only from the knees up, marching through a cellar, descending an unseen slope, helms disappearing row after row, feet staying faithful to contours of an ancient road whose buried stones lead to a destination never reached. No explanations can suffice for these flickering phantoms, surprised by their moment of sudden death, random remnants of energy burned into the retina of memory, timeless looping film images in a final scene on a final set. Now that we build our buildings a hundred stories high, if they tumble into rubble in seconds, will pale desk lamps continue to flicker as ghosts pace the space between coffee machine and cubicle? Will spectral lovers leap hand in hand from windows shattered into shimmering dust a century ago? Will a city like New York ever be still or dark enough for any living soul gazing upward on a warm Indian summer night? to see a thousand wisps spiraling down sky-suspended stairwells, disappearing at the twentieth floor, reappearing at the sixtieth, shadow moments repeating fiercely where only falcons fly. <laughs>